Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. A couple of weeks ago, a very young girl sent me a message. When I saw the pictures, it was trash everywhere. I cleaned the home before with many many trash. So I was I thought I'm ready for everything. But the condition was more shocking. What I couldn't see on the pictures, it was holes everywhere all around on the walls and a million of cockroaches and mice was running all around in the house. I asked the girl if I can share her story with you because these people is getting judged very very easy and I want to show you guys her situation and help you to accept a condition like this even if you not really understand. Don't get me wrong, I don't say that these conditions are normal, but I just want to show you the other side when the people is losing the hope. Her mom went to the jail for three years instead of the dad because the dad was able to make more money. So her mom said, okay, I'm going to the jail. After when she was free, the dad left the whole family. Her mom had a heart attack and not too long she died. When her mom went to the jail, she had to go to the foster home. When her mom died, her sister was taking care of her. She was only 13. When she was hungry, her sister sent the grandpa to eat something. She didn't take care of her if she go to the school or not. She had to grow up very, very fast and very early. After many, many fights in your life, Sometimes we all just give up. I did this. So this is the reason why I'm not judging her. Because she is in the same situation. Imagine you have a little money to rent this apartment where a hole is all around in your house. When mice live with you. When roaches live with you. She lost her job two weeks ago. So now she's fighting very, very hard. She told me, she already sent me a message, and when I asked some pictures, she just deleted the whole message. And not too long ago, I was sending her a new message like, hey, do you still need my help? And then she didn't change her mind. She said, yes, I need your help. Believe or not, I spent three days in this apartment. And I want to tell you guys, this couple was very, very hard. They was working very, very hard. They, without any stop, they just was start to throw out all the garbage from the house. When we started to move the garbage bags, thousand of roaches was running on the wall and it was same with the mice all of them was running everywhere on the first day i definitely wanted to collect all the garbage and throw them out because as you see this apartment is very very empty like they don't have uh, furniture and because you can see you can see bed um, I want to tell you they have another room where they mostly live and that room was kind of clean so they was really um, keep clean condition in that room so I didn't show you I didn't touch their room they gonna be able to clean more I told them you guys have to move out from here because 
this um building uh, in the whole building a low income family lives and in the whole building and i'm pretty sure in the most of the apartments has the same condition they already tried to ask some help but nobody help for these people they have to live like this I gave three days for myself to clean this apartment and I was very right because actually I used all the three days and it surprised me because usually one room takes six to eight hours and in the very empty apartment and just spent three days it was like amazing. I had to bag again all the garbage bags because the mice was um, chewing so all the trash was falling out so that's why we had to put um, in another garbage bag. We heard some mouse noises and I started to pick up all the garbage bag and the first time I didn't realize there is five little mouse. Um, when I was in this job, I shared um, a wishlist um, link, what is, looks like it doesn't work, but I asked help to send this couple a roaches killer, and you say, Boric acid is very, very good. Um, actually, I put on my own wishlist some boric acid, um, it's like a pill form and a powder form. If it's possible to help out this couple um, with this killer, I would really, really appreciate your help um, and I will send them. Thank you. This packet was full uh, with water and as you see it was um, standing on more clothes. So at the first time I had to pour out the water a little bit because the water level was too high and after I could remove um, the packet with the water. I don't know exactly what was that point when um, they decide to not throwing out the garbage um, but I'm just happy they was brave enough to ask my help and solve this problem and because they was working very very hard I really believe them to not they're not gonna go back to this um, condition again now they so how hard to fix the problem um, on the end they was very very tired and I'm pretty sure they don't want to live like this anymore so, they, so they're gonna fight very hard to live a normal life
the best idea for them if they just leave this whole apartment and move out and start their life um, over but it's just not easy to do this in New York because if you want to rent an apartment then you have to pay a lot of deposit a lot so to move in New York it's very very expensive The girl didn't want to keep anything, so my job was easy. Just put everything in the bag and throw everything out. We are on the second day and my plan was to clean the kitchen and let me tell you guys it took my whole day. My video is sponsored and a little commercial is coming. All the information about this vacuum cleaner is being shared in the description. Check for the details. All the cabinets was full with the dyed roach and, and roach poops um, and here I try my best. I use Clorox and hot water and probably you don't like the way how I'm cleaning and you think it's too wet. Let me tell you in the apartment it was extremely hot and I knew even if I use water it's gonna get dry very very fast and the most important thing just you know kill the germs as much as possible.
Usually I'm not used to use a steam cleaner in the kitchen because it um, makes a lot of water. But in this case, I want to make sure I clean every little things all it's possible and as i told you before i'm not worried about the water because the apartment is very very hot so everything is gonna get dry very very fast um but this helped me uh, my job a lot like all the dry cockroaches poop is just like meltdown The water didn't flow down because the brown thing, what you see, it's all dyed box. So it was stuck in there and I had to fix the problem. The drain cleaner is working. I sprayed um, the fridge top so I can focus on the microwave.
Actually, I really thought I can fix this problem and it never happened with me before uh, But I figured it out if I put a plate on the other side and I cover and then I start to pump Then it should be work and I was right I sprayed oven cleaner and it was clean perfect. And of course I was recording my back again so you can see how I start to clean the microwave and what is the result. For top of the fridge at the beginning I used a Clorox and after I used oven cleaner because it was greasy. I used the oven before but I just want to make sure my job is gonna be easy so I just spray it again I thought I'm recording how I make empty the fridge but no I didn't so here you can see how I'm cleaning the fridge This steam cleaner is a lifesaver, I promise you guys.
and this was the last thing in the kitchen i cleaned the oven and here the second day is done i finished and on the third day i have planned to clean the bathroom sweep and mop the floor And finally we are here on the third day on the last day and we can see the end the apartment is very clean now it's no more trash and not too much thing left It was hard to clean this bathtub because all the time when I thought it's already clean it was just more roaches was falling in the bathtub and I felt like oh my gosh I never never gonna be able to clean this well look at this thing guys it's just like when you try to wash your hands they're just running through and if you're not putting a bucket it just goes on the floor I know guys you don't like uh, to see when I'm touching the toilet even if I wear gloves but if they don't have a toilet brush and I really had no energy to focusing on a toilet brush if I should buy one or not or something so I just clean it with my hand anyway it like doesn't matter but I just can't leave like dirty 
and I apologize because you see I was touching the toilet inside and after I was uh, washing the all around the toilet um, I changed the sponge but not um, at the beginning so after I was cleaning inside I clean the side too after I changed the sponge but I knew even if I um, used on the side the same sponge I used still more cleaning products but I'm just not showing you the whole um, toilet cleaning because it's really boring so I apologize this is kind of confused or you think it's, it's disgusting but I clean this toilet well and this is the very last moves this is the very last touching the floor and soon I wanna be able to show you the result Thank you. 
If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!